What's up, what's up? This is episode number one of Poshmark Explained by a Dude. My name is Chris. I go by 10K on the Bay on YouTube. And I'm going to explain to you guys how you can use Poshmark to make um, a great side income. It's a great side hustle. It's a great way to make some extra money. There's something called the Poshmark 30 minute method, which is basically you list three items a day, you share your closet. Um, with other people on the platform, then you also share other people's closets, and then you also um, find new members to share or greet. And I like to do this. It's really fun, um, in my opinion, to make money. It's not as fun to look at clothing. And also, you know, I'm specifically doing this as a side hustle. So since it's primarily women who shop on Poshmark, you have to have a little bit of a passion for women's fashion in order to be successful, in my opinion. But let's just get straight into it with some different features. Um, this is my closet. Uh, if you guys want to start a Poshmark, please use my name for a referral code. Uh, we both get five bucks, so Daily Refinement is the name of my closet. I'm going to show you guys the difference between desktop and mobile, but it's very similar. And that's one of the best things about Poshmark is how easy it is to get going. So the first thing is... It's going to tell you how many listings you have, how many shares you have, how many followers, and how many following. So I've been on Poshmark for about 40 days now, a little over a month, and I think I've got the hang of it. Basically here, you have your closet items, which are things that literally from your closet. The 30-minute method refers to listing three items, sharing a bunch of things, but it's designed to really help you make $1,000 per month. So when I heard that, I was like... I'm going to do it eight hours a day and make 16 grand a month. Forget this like half and 30 minute method. I don't want, I don't do anything 30 minutes. I either go all in or I don't do it. So I want to go to the max with this Poshmark thing. So I wanted to figure out why this matters. So for me, listing three items a day is pretty easy. You go to sell, you click a folder to upload photos. Um, let's say for example, um, we're selling this pair of sneakers. You can max upload a maximum of eight pictures. You're gonna go next. You're gonna fill out, oh, you're gonna select your cover shot. So I take a perfectly white cover shot to make it pop. But again, after that, I take pictures that are a little bit more natural looking so people can get an idea of the true color. The pure white makes items look better than they are in person. You're gonna do title, you're gonna describe it, category, quantity, it's very easy. It takes me about two minutes to list an item on Poshmark. So three items a day, that's like 10 minutes. It's very quick after you already take the photos. My favorite part of Poshmark is this original price thing. As a buyer, I want to know what the original price is. This is my biggest gripe with eBay. So they don't have this MSRP. So on eBay, people have no idea what the MSRP is. And it makes it suck as far as getting a high price as a seller. But the listing price is what you want to sell for. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that because I've already listed this pair of shoes. In the Posh Stats, it actually tells you, this is pretty cool that um, they have a suggested discount. So here they're saying that items are about 50% off move if they're new and about 60% off move if they're pre-owned. And you can get a little bit more if your items are rare, unique, or in style. And I totally agree with that. And I love the fact that the pre-owned price is so close to the new item because if you're a thrifter, you're selling stuff around the house, you're getting almost as much as people are buying stuff clearance at the mall. That's pretty impressive. You're getting a very, very strong price. So kudos to Poshmark for making that really awesome. Here in your Posh stats, you have, um, I started, I opened a Poshmark back in November, um, but I didn't do anything until January 28th. Um, but I have 283 listings um, and 210 available for sale. I've had about 50 items sell on, Posh, uh, on eBay during the time that I started on Poshmark eBay, I still make way more money. So if you guys have any questions on that, I have a course below that you can check out um, that my buddy Prince and I put together to help you do eBay. But Poshmark, again, it's just mainly women's clothing. You can do whatever you want with it. I make way more money on eBay, but this is just a tutorial from a dude because I think that there's a lot of women explaining how to do Poshmark. But for me, I just want to use it to, to make another side hustle. And also, I actually think I like women's clothing because it's more interesting. Guys really only have 10 or 10, 10 or 12 different styles of things that we wear. And for women, it's a lot more complex and interesting. And just as a salesperson in general, as a true salesperson at heart, I like to see what makes things sell. So here, I love the available listings. This is the value of the stuff you have listed. 
So if you were to not accept best offer at all, you could take this money to the bank. 23,000 minus 20%, that would be your net. But because people like to make offers on Poshmark from what I've seen, you, I'm going to expect only 70% of this to realistically be what that is. So I would just say half is a reasonable amount of profit. So I have about $12,000 worth of profit listed. Not bad for one month of Poshmark. So people are going to offer a little bit less, you accept it, and then I'm sorry, 12,000 net, and then you subtract what it costs out of that to get your true net, that, what, that's what you pay taxes on. Um, one interesting thing about Posh is they do not issue a 1099, uh, which is very shady. So I think that a lot of people are gonna be using Poshmark to launder money. That's just my opinion. Maybe that's the dude in me thinking, but um, they don't issue a 1099 right now, so I think that will definitely change within the next year because they are a pretty large platform. They just landed, I think, $100 million in, in new VC money, and they're still private. So watch out. If they start to grow, maybe since I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blow up my Posh um, closet, I can get in um, with the investors who are local to me in the Bay Area. Poshmark is in the Bay, so uh, hopefully I can go there once I'm a large Poshmark seller. Um, and here... It tells you on the left side, as you can see right there, the 50%, that is my average discount of the items. And this is why I think that I'm doing okay on Poshmark. I sold about 10% of that so far. And the thing that, that really is based on my pricing being on point. And that's from me sharing other people's closets. So people say, oh, I don't like the sharing part. It's like, that's to me the equivalent of saying, you don't like to learn about what you're trying to be good at. And that's just you being lazy. So I wish many years of struggle upon you until you figure out that sharing is your key to success probably on Poshmark. Not because of the fact that you're sharing someone's closet, because you are learning the fashion trends of what's going on on the platform. You can see what other people price their items at. You get a good idea and good feel of how people are presenting their items. Okay, self shares is um, 48.27. That's the amount of times that I've shared my own items. Um, in the last 30 days. And you can see I'm at a little over 5,000 self shares in the um, Posh Ambassador status, which is right there, 5173. And that just, that just basically indicates that I've been on Posh a little bit more than a month. Um, but again, I should be right on point with my pricing because I'm doing my own sharing. You can get a bot, which I believe is anti-Posh rules. I'm not, I'm not opposed to using a bot, but they are. So if you're gonna use a bot, be careful because they can use that to suspend your account. So I don't recommend using a bot at all in the beginning. Get your store going, understand what Posh is all about. It's not the same as eBay, it's not Craigslist, it's different. So every single platform is gonna have its different ins and outs. Um, here I have a moderator remove listing because I posted um, a signpost of an explanation of how to make an offer on my store because people use signposts on Poshmark to advertise themselves. And I'll give you an example of one. I put one right here um, with my dog. Let's see, where's my dog? Where is my dog? Somewhere in here, I have a banner. I'm gonna try to pull it up for you guys. Wow, is it all the way at the bottom? Uh, let's see here. Sorry for the wait. Um, I have a, a post, basically, there it is. So this is my dog, Sam, but I'm posting this as an item. I actually put this in as a Ralph Lauren purple label listing, which it's not, but I was just trying to find something high end to get people's attention. I actually had this removed when using Chanel. So that's what my moderator remove listing is. Don't do this. I actually don't know the proper way to put up a signpost, but I see it all over Poshmark. Doesn't mean it's right though, but it's a good situation to advertise your store and let people know what's going on. So for me, I'm like, hey, look, I um, run a large eBay business and I'm doing Poshmark for fun. That's me, nice to meet you. And um, I have a profile picture. Let's see, let's go here real quick. I decided to make one a little bit more low key. So it's just me having a cup of coffee, but originally was more risque. So, but again, do whatever you want, make Poshmark your own. Um, let me go into a couple more features here. So this is listings sold. Uh, I sold 37 things in my first month. Not too bad, about $2,300 in sales. There is some fraud that happened on my Poshmark account that was credited back to me. So it doesn't reflect a $300 sale, but other than that, that is accurate. That's actually the earned amount. So I earned 20% more than that because that's just what I net. Um, 
on those 37 items, I paid about 800 bucks. So I, I basically doubled my money on, on, on my posh so far. Days to ship, 1.7. I have 21 ratings, uh, perfect rating so far. I'm a top rated seller. They used to have a, a top 10% thing, um, but they removed that. So now it just says top rated seller. Uh, and it also says top seller here on the listing sold, which is a little unusual. I just started. I don't know why I would be a top seller already. Their standards must be super low because I do a, a lot more money on eBay and I'm nowhere near a top seller. So that's a little bit concerning. I'm not really sure what that means. Um, and then down here is how you um, share a new posher. So if you go down here to new poshers, shared, it says I'm a posh mentor. Yes, I love being a posh mentor. So here I'm gonna go here and follow some new people. So if I go in here to Haley, Haley, what's up? So you're gonna go in here, you're gonna share her stuff. Lulu store credit. She's selling it for 80 bucks what so let's see here 103 uh, let's see let me make an offer i'm gonna lowball this lady 50 bucks so this is how you make an offer right so i'm gonna have to pay 56 50 for this i'm gonna lowball that that is my post office box so go ahead and send me stuff if you guys would like so i just made an offer that's how you make an offer on poshmark and then here this top right button is where i'm going to be sharing her listing i'm going to share it to my followers that's how you share an item and here, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna share this listing to my followers again, and then I'm gonna leave a, I'm gonna like it and leave a comment. What's up? Um, life is short. Um, we are all going to die one day. One day. So YOLO and have a great day. Heart, guy with sunglasses, boom. So that is how you welcome a new posture to the platform. So I think that, you know, that's that's pretty cool. And I've done that 158 times. I'm going to go in here and follow people. Some say you should follow two to 300 people per day. Um, I don't know about that. I, I, I don't understand the significance of it. But, um, you know, I'm blindly following like a sheep right now until I figure out why. And I will figure out why. Uh, once you figure out why, it's going to be, you know, you're going to use it to your advantage and learn exactly what the algorithm is looking for. And guys, just get better. It's just like a game. Understand all the pieces. I get the question almost every day. Should I share my closet? Should I follow new people? I don't know. You should just go in there and figure it out. You know, like I'm trying to figure it out just as much as you. I've been on the platform for a month. And I, I definitely think this year, my first year, I'm going to net six figures on Poshmark for sure. It is so much easier than eBay, but it does not have the traffic. So I'm not going to hold my breath on it having as much of a sell-through rate as, um, as eBay. But let's go ahead and just take a look. So let's see here. What's up? Thanks for being awesome all right sweet so i'm gonna like that move on to the next one ruth see the 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 percentage of women to men is staggering right follow what wow so she listed and sold a marmot puffer jacket jacket instantly so she must have listed it too cheap i'm also in here looking to lowball people who just start and don't know what they're doing Men's party. Oh, what? Okay, how come I can't show this to the men's party? Okay, not sure why I can't show it to the men's party. It looks like a men's item. But you're gonna go in here and follow people, learn what's selling Timberland 14 inch. Whoa, those are some, some tall Timberland boots. But the amount of women on here, wow, it's insane. If I was single, uh, I still wouldn't use Poshmark to pick up women, but if you want to be really creepy, it's a good platform to do that. Um, likes, let's see here. Uh, I've been sending all these offers to people, so if you go in here and you click on, let's go ahead and find one of these items. Um, right here, this is North Face Women's Thing. You can go in here and do price drop, and you can private offer the people who like your item. You have to go at least 10% lower than normal and offer a shipping discount. Boom. You can submit an offer to the people who like your items. I think this is super duper spammy. But it's great as a seller to be able to spam the people who like your items. And here you can see people um, 
declining my offers. She declined my low ball on the Lulu store credit. She didn't even counter offer. So, you know, I don't get mad at people who low ball because sometimes people accept. I'm going to go in here and maybe troll her a little bit, make a new offer of 51. Because I'm hoping that she'll counter offer something lower, right? But anyway, I'm having fun with it. You should have fun with the platform. You got to keep it fun or you're not going to have the passion to make it as a reseller because you know, there's so many people like me that you're competing against that actually like selling stuff. And if you like selling stuff and you're competing against people who don't, you know, you're just going to crush it. So I appreciate you guys tuning in to a, um, the first episode of just a dude explaining Poshmark. So if you have any questions, email me at 10 K on the Bay at gmail.com. I am 100% going to net six figures on Poshmark this year. It is so much easier than eBay to get started. So get everything in your closet into your living room and let's do it together. Take care.